it's time for an update an update an update it's time for an update it's time for an update hi guys so it uh i missed last week's update due to some stuff that was happening so this is going to be kind of a long video maybe i don't know it might be a little bit longer than the other ones because it's going to be an update consisting of two weeks worth of information so this is my it's almost about to be a month this week it'll make it like the end of this week will make it a month um usually i film on a sunday and i post it during the week but this time i'm filming on a friday um because this is the time that i had time so <clears throat> let's just get started i went to a <clears throat> k-pop concert today and I have to edit the footage from that video, so that's probably going to be up before this video. Yeah, I think it'll probably be up before this video, so be on the lookout for that. So I just want to say that the reason why I couldn't film last week is because someone stole my money from my wallet, from my purse, uh, last week, Friday. And that is the reason why I couldn't film on the Sunday because that weekend was so like crazy stressful for me. Um, somebody stole it while I was in downtown. So I was kind of bummed about that. I've had definitely had time to get over it now. So I know I probably seem happier than I should, but I kind of really needed that money. And no, I didn't. No, I can't take it to the police because you can't see the person well enough on the CCTV. And despite what I think about who did it and all of these things, there's probably nothing I can do because I don't have any concrete evidence. So there was that issue that happened, which made my life uh, a little crazy. You know, when something like this happens, you play the blame game a lot. You blame yourself for not watching your things closer or for, I don't know, carrying a certain amount of money. You just play the blame game a lot when stuff like this happens, but I don't know, stuff happens. And I figured it was just another trial that God was putting me through. And I could use it to hate on Korea and say I hate Korea, or I could just use it to just be more aware of my surroundings next time and not put any blame on the fact that it's Korea. So that's what I decided to do. So there's that. And also, I can't remember what fully happened last week. I've been having I've been having some skin issues since I arrived in Korea and it seemed to have gotten better, but this week it's really been acting up again. So that's making me a little depressed that my skin won't get right. It's probably the water. I haven't been out the country out of America in 10 years so you know new environment new surroundings my body's not used to it and water is always different in every country so it probably has something to do with it <clears throat> and lack thereof not just water with the shower but lack thereof as in drinking water um I realize I don't drink water as much in Korea as I did back home so I should probably drink more water I, I probably, like, I notice it's very common to just drink, like, one or two, like, small cups of water with a meal in Korea. As opposed to, you know, when we when we uh, are at home, maybe we get, like, a glass like this or something with a glass of water. So even if I just drink water with all my meals, it's just, like, this size. And that's still not going to be the same as the amount of water that I drank in America. <clears throat> so I probably just need to drink more water. And I, I don't eat properly here. I don't eat three meals a day because I just can't afford to eat three meals a day. As well as... Mm, that's probably it. <laughs> I can't afford to eat three meals a day. So I don't eat three meals a day, number one. And ever since the money is gone, I have to budget even more. <laughs> and I have to like watch what I spend my money on. I do spend a lot of money on food here because there is no kitchen, there's no fridge, there's no microwave, there's no nothing. So I have to spend money on every meal that I eat. So technically if I want to eat three times a day, I have to buy food three times a day. 
and I don't really mm, so I just have a lot of you know the the snacks that I have brought from America I eat those for breakfast and then I usually spend money on lunch I try to spend money on a big lunch so I don't have to eat dinner which is not so good but if I don't then spend money on lunch and spend money on dinner or let dinner be like you know like uh, I keep forgetting how to say it in Korean but Japanese like onigiri like the triangular shaped um, rice balls with seaweed you know what I'm talking about yeah so <laughs> I usually eat that for dinner with like milk banana milk or melon milk normally banana milk because I love banana milk banana milk or melon milk since I got into Korea I have lost weight it could be from the food portions or the food ingredients or the fact that I walk everywhere and the campus is so big I have lost about five the last time I checked which was last week I had lost five kilograms which I'm not even sure how many pounds that is now because I don't do conversions well and I wasn't really trying to lose weight I don't I don't like to be skinny <laughs> I don't like to be skinny I like to look healthy and I'm not a girl who pulls off skinny well so there's that that's happening classes are still going well I have a test I usually take a test in Japanese class every day so I find myself studying every night <laughs> and sleeping late which could also be a reason why my skin isn't doing well because I don't have a good sleep schedule there's that I know there's probably many things to say that's happened in the past two weeks but honestly like once you lose your money once you lose your money nothing else really seems to have any kind of weight in your mind so I honestly can't remember anything else that happened in the past two weeks I still do get to talk I get to talk to my family and my boyfriend at least once a day yeah I, I, at least once a day I, I, I mean I talk to my family at least once a day and I talk to my boyfriend at least once a day if not once every other day and I talk to my friends of course so I'm still keeping in touch with home and I was really really feeling kind of like you know homesick after my money was stolen so I'm really grateful that they encouraged me and told me to stay here and make my dreams come true and do what I have to do and look at it as a lesson and not as, you know, a curse of being in Korea. So I'm very grateful for the people in my life. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can always leave them down below. Don't forget to Follow me on Instagram to see all the pictures or my blog to see all the pictures or my Tumblr to see all the pictures. Actually, I haven't even updated my blog. I'm so bad at this. I'll do it this weekend. I have time. I'll do it this weekend. And don't forget to subscribe to my main channel, Miss Brahane. Okay, so that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's getting so redundant.